the results came back seemingly consistent between the holes and when we stepped out in fact there was one hole we stepped out over a kilometer and a half away from the deposit and we got results ranging up to three times the high of what the average of the resource is hello viewers and welcome back to the assay tv where today i am joined once again by president and ceo of blue sky uranium nico kakos Blue Sky Uranium is a leader in uranium discovery in Argentina. They're focused on advancing their flagship Amarillo Grande project, an in-house discovery of a new district that has the potential to become a leader in domestic and international supply of uranium. So welcome, Nico. It's great to have you back. It's been a little while since we last spoke. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Um, so since it has been a little while since we last spoke, can you just give our viewers a quick recap of Blue Sky Uranium as a company and its flagship project? It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. Blue, with Blue Sky Uranium, we're focused on uranium exploration in Argentina. Uh, there are many investors will you know scratch their heads and say, well, there's uranium in Argentina. Well, what we have there is a very, very unique uh, opportunity in that we've discovered not just a singular deposit, but we've discovered an entire new district, a new uranium vanadium district that is over. It's it's like a corridor over 145 kilometers in length by 50 kilometers wide. It truly is enormous. Our property is over 300,000 hectares on the on this area, and it 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 truly represents district scale. What's interesting about this district is got. Uh, geological similarities to many of these districts, like those in Kazakhstan, which uh, amend, which makes it amenable to be uh, to have uh, uranium deposit here, potentially to rank amongst the largest uranium deposits in the world, with some of the world's lowest operating costs. So it's a very unique opportunity in a country like Argentina, which, by the way, is a nuclear country and uh, presents us with a very unique opportunity, hopefully to, one day to be uh, suppliers of domestic uh, uranium to that country, to Argentina. Absolutely. Um, the company received some final drill results for its Ivana deposit. Did you receive any notable mineralization? And I, I guess in a broader sense, were you expecting these kind of results? We were very pleased with the results that we received. Um, we embarked on a drill program on the Ivana deposit with a twofold purpose. Number one was to see, uh, to drill in between the previous holes so that we could tighten up the spacing between holes. This would give us more confidence in the resource that we've already published there. So we could take the results of that if they came back positive and potentially upgrade the resource from inferred to indicated, which is a, a significant event. Um, and the second uh, objective of this drill program was to step out and to see, are we able to expand the size of our uranium deposit here? And I'm happy to say that on both accounts, we came back very positive. We both, the results came back seemingly consistent between the holes. And when we stepped out, in fact, there was one hole, we stepped out over a kilometer and a half away from the deposit. And we got results ranging up to three times the high of what the average of the resource is. So there is potential to expand this uh, deposit and there's also potential that we can upgrade it. So this gives us a lot to work with here going forward. Absolutely. So um, since then, as recently as March, um, you've announced a 1,200 meter exploration drill program. Um, this is located at a target quite near to the Ivana um, deposit. Can you tell us about this target and I guess some similarities that you're seeing between the two? Yes, <clears throat> this this target is known as Ivana East because it's to the east of Ivana, <laughs> and uh, we <laughs> and we have embarked on the uh, uh, exploration drill program there because some of the geological similarities, both uh, and and geo geophysical similarities to the Ivana deposit, leads us to believe that there is an excellent potential to find another discovery there. So this is going to be ongoing over the next uh, month or so. So this is going to be a very exciting uh, drill program to follow. And in the meantime, uh, we are also looking at embarking at uh, upgrading, uh, announcing a new mineral resource which would hopefully upgrade the current resource and 
potentially maybe even expand it. And then, of course, we may also update, we're also contemplating updating uh, the preliminary economic assessment at the Ivana deposit. And uh, because that one was done four years ago and the price of uranium has uh, risen from $20 to $50 in the spot market. And and just if we have a, a, a bit of a shift in the numbers, I think our deposit would look in a very, very different and much more favorable light than what it does right now. Um, so you've mentioned about the, the markets kind of shifting and obviously as a society, we're moving into focusing on less carbon intensive ways of um, producing energy. Do you see demand for uranium skyrocketing anytime soon, or do you see it largely remaining in a boom? It's it's already skyrocketing, and, <laughs> and, and because and you know it's moved. The spot price has moved has almost tripled in price in the last uh, few years alone. But there's projections that the demand will continue to grow uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, as uh, society becomes more and more accepting of uh, nuclear energy uh, as a source for generating electricity, the technology has advanced. It could be done more economically and more safely than it was done in the past. We, we understand more, more is understood about that. So as that has gained acceptance, we're seeing uh, nuclear reactors now around the world both being extending their their existing life and new ones being built in in new places all the time. So this is all generating demand for uranium, and because the 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 size of the uranium market is relatively small, it has the ability to exacerbate the price and really increase it quite quickly. Excellent. So just to circle back, um, you mentioned possibly updating the MRE for the Ivana deposit, and um, what? How can you kind of um, picture the steps moving towards that? Do you have a timeline at all? Well, um, we're, we're undertaking some of the studies right now. And uh, once we confirm as management that this is what we want to do, I believe sometime in the second quarter of this year, we may be in a position to announce an updated uh, resource, uh, as well as perhaps even an updated preliminary economic assessment. Excellent. And also, how, how is the funding looking for Blue Sky Uranium? Well, we're fund. We did a bit of funding at the end of the fourth quarter, and uh, now we're fully funded to execute our exploration programs and uh, potentially up, you know, update our MRE. So, at the end of which, we'll need additional funding to focus the company on the on the next uh, exploration uh, milestones that we're looking to to uh, to achieve. Excellent. So, just to round things up, um, as we like to ask, what are the major milestones to look out for in twenty twenty three? Well, major milestones are the number one, I would say, is the drill program. Uh, we've got the Ivana East that we've embarked on drilling now. And following that, we plan to turn the drills over to our, our, our fourth target there, another target called Cateo Cuatro. That one is also a, a very exciting target that ha is very close to the Ivana deposit. Both of these could, could the reason we like to look focusing on deposits close to Ivana deposit, because at some point in the future, if a decision is made to go uh, to production, then we could potentially feed uranium or from, you know, a radius into like a, a hub and spoke type mechanism. Um, and then, of course, the other the other milestones to look forward are um, our, our new updated uh, resource calculation and PEA. I think these will highlight uh, the Ivana the deposit in its most current form in the best way that we can. Absolutely. So it sounds like there's a huge few months coming up for Blue Sky and we can't wait to catch up again. Thank you, Nika. Thank you.